Welcome back to Trends and Friends. Chewy's is celebrating their 30th annual Green Chili Festival right now. Here to tell us about how you can get in on the fun is Evan Brown. Evan, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us. Excited to be here. Yeah, smells. We're very excited too because it smells so good. Um, and this obviously all has to go along with your Green Chili Festival. Tell me a little bit about that. Absolutely. So we've been doing the Green Chili Festival for 30 years. Mm -hmm. uh, our founders were the first ones to bring the the. Uh, green chili out of the Hatch Valley in New Mexico to Central Texas. Okay. Uh, we have a love for our ingredients. We're a scratch kitchen, a uh, scratch restaurant. We put a lot of effort into our food uh, and so we just really like to celebrate things and so this year uh, is the Green Chili Festival. We've got four great entrees. Right, tell me about them because they look amazing and they smell amazing so let's just go through and touch on every single one okay. of these. So this one here starting off is our uh, green chili chicken flautas. Okay. Uh, inside's got spinach, uh, green chilies obviously, some chicken. Okay. Uh, uh, rolled in a corn tortilla and then lightly fried and then drizzled with our crema especial. All right. Uh, green chili rice on there with a scoop of guacamole. Fantastic. Flautas locally are one of our more popular dishes normally anyway, so uh, the green chili chicken flautas have been going over really, really well. All right, this looks amazing. This. With the sauce. Yes. I'm a sauce girl. So anything with sauce, I'm, I want to know about it. This is for you. Okay. This is the uh, chicken velvet enchiladas. Velvet. Velvet, named for the sauce. <laughs> right. The sauce, your sauce, okay. right, uh, is really delicious. It, it's uh, Got our fajita meat, our chicken fajita, and okay. onions, peppers, fajita veggies inside, along with some jack cheese. The thing that's special about this plate is it's rolled in a flour tortilla. Okay. Most of the enchiladas are going to be rolled in corn, but because that sauce is so uh, luxurious, right. it really soaks into that flour and makes for a, a really wow dish. All right, luxurious. I love that world. Luxurious. With the, with the sauce, it's, it's, a, it's a match made in heaven. And this is a big boy over here. It's the king. It's the king. We call it the king carne burrito. We've got uh, ground sirloin in there, bacon because <laughs> bacon. Why, why not, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, French fried potatoes, jack cheese, uh, all inside. Then we roll it up, put it on top of our uh, green chili hatch tomatillo sauce, and then garnish on top with some fresh diced and roasted green chilies, uh, our pico de gallo, and then of course more bacon, more cheese. Can't go wrong. Exactly. Uh, serve with some queso wings here, some wings that have been dipped in queso, and then our charro beans. All right, so that looks delicious. And then this kind of looks like a match made in heaven over here. A little right. bit of some, so tell me about that. So this is one of our chicken velvet enchiladas uh, over on this plate. And then we're featuring our chicken rellenos this year. Okay. Uh, our rellenos have been really popular here in Lubbock, obviously, uh, but going along in theme with the Green Chili Fest, stuffing a, a pepper uh, with some chicken and some jack cheese, lightly breading and frying it, topped with a little bit of uh, pico de gallo and our green chili uh, sauce as well. All right, so lots of great stuff. And I see you also have a drink kind of hanging out over here all in right, the corner. Like how could you go through all this right. wild food? <laughs> exactly. uh, it's a little bit spicy, it brings okay. a little bit of heat. So what better way to cool off than a, uh, than a New Mexican martini? We infuse our own tequila okay. uh, with green chilies uh, for at least 24 hours. And then um, make it with our, we squeeze our own lime juice uh, and make a great margarita pairs perfectly with any of these dishes. All right, and that's just, you know, one of the drinks you have. You have lots of different margaritas. Kind of walk us through some of your more popular items, drinks and food-wise at Chewy's, well, because I think it's a lot. Of, there's a lot of good stuff. There's there. a lot of good stuff. Like I said, you know, everything's from scratch. We put a lot of love into our food uh, and a lot of care. Even our margaritas, we have a watermelon margarita right now that we actually use a whole uh, watermelon for to make our pulp <laughs> and uh, get into our margaritas, but plenty of different rellenos to go on this dish as well. Some people, you know, they're meat eaters. They don't they want that beef. Some right. people want cheese. Uh, we can always substitute out rellenos. Right. Plenty of uh, options at Chewy's for yeah. sure. Yeah, and I think that's something that a lot of people like about Chewy's is, is if you come in and say, well, I want this sauce and not necessarily this sauce, you guys are always willing to do it, which is so nice. I always like to say that our menu is more of just a suggestion. Right. And we'll we will do anything that. we can for the customer. So where can people come, when until can people come in and get these? We are running this uh, through September 2nd. Okay. And where are you guys located if anyone wants to come check you out? We're at 4805 South Loop 289. Okay. Uh, in between Quaker and Slide. All right, and right over where that new Razu's right location there, is. Right over there, Razu's and Longhorns and all that's right there next to us. Exactly, so it'll be a lot of fun, a lot of great stuff you'll want to check out. Chewy's is always a great place to go on a Friday or a Saturday and any day of the week that you want to get some great. Especially Monday through Friday from 4 to 7, we have a nacho car. You can come get some free eats and some great drinks. All right, Evan, thank you very much. A lot of great stuff. Thank you much for coming. Thank you so much. Up next, details on a shootout event to help benefit a local nonprofit. That's next.